This is Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, the far west of China, a land of giant mountains, vast deserts, green grasslands, gorgeous forests, a land of ancient history and rich culture. The main routes of Silk Road cross the region. Let's go with us on a journey around this amazing land. For the last part of our journey in Xinjiang, we choose another heavenly road. This road crosses the mountains of Tianshan from the south to the north part of Xinjiang. It is called Duku Highway and it is 526 kilometers long. The road connects the Kucha city in the south with Dushanzi city in the north. For more detailed information about Duku Highway, take a look at our blog post Travel on the Duku Highway. You can see the link to the post in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon. First we go to Urumqi, the capital of Xinjiang and rent a car from there. Then we travel from Urumqi to Kucha, the starting point of Duku Highway. On our way we cross some eastern branches of Tianshan where we can see these falling sand dunes on the valley slope. We pass the city of Korla, then from Luntai we penetrate deep into Taklamakan Desert as you can see in our previous video. We arrive at the starting point of Duku Highway. We are going to travel on this road for two days and one night. First, we cross the southernmost branches of Tianshan. They are dry, without forests, with some sandstone rocks. This area is included in Kucha Grand Canyon National Geopark. And soon we arrive at the first point of interest on Duku Highway. This is Tianshan Secret Canyon. Tianshan Secret Canyon is a slot type of canyon formed in the red sandstone rocks here. It is a tourist attraction, one of the most beautiful canyons in China. It is about 2 kilometers long and while we walk to its bottom it becomes more and more narrow. We can see some grottos in the canyon used by humans as sacred places.
we go out of the canyon and proceed further on Duku Highway. Duku Highway is open from May to October. During the rest of the year, most of the road is closed for all types of vehicles. That's why there are so many cars in the high season. It gradually ascends to about 2,500 meters altitude. Soon the dry sandstone slopes change into high mountain landscape covered by green pastures. And the first trees of the gorgeous coniferous forests of Tian Shan appear around us. We reach our next stop. This is Dalong Lake a beautiful body of water with glacier origin, surrounded by forests and grasslands. After the lake, Duku Highway ascends to about 3,100 meters altitude. Here is the first summit of Tian Shan and we cross it by a tunnel called Tieli Maiti. From the other side, we gradually descend. The road is damaged by a mudslide caused by the rain. So we stop here waiting for the workers to repair and open the road. Here we spend the night in the car. On the next day, the road is open and we proceed our trip on Duku Highway. Soon we enter the large Bayan Bulak or Bayan Buluk grassland. This is a wide plain between two of the Tian Shan branches. It is early in the morning and everything is cool and fresh. Soon we arrive in Bayan Bulak city, but it is not open for foreigners, so we can't stay here for long and can't enjoy the local attraction called Swan Lake. So we go to the other side of the city and stop here. and we can see the meanders of Kaidu River. They are similar to those in Swan Lake, so we don't regret that we couldn't see it. After that, our road proceeds further northward. We enter the Tian Shan forests again, passing by Narat grassland.
Then Duku Highway starts ascending to the second summit. We reach about 3200 meters altitude and cross the second mountain pass called UC Molagai, again through a tunnel. After that we descend to another grassland full of yurts. This is Tangbula grassland. Here we cross Ili river. Finally, we start ascending again to the last summit of Duku Highway. It is called Hasilagan Pass and here we cross Borohoro Mountains, the last branch of Tian Shan. This is also the highest point of Duku Highway, about 3400 meters altitude. Here we can see even an old snow. Hasilagan Pass welcomes us with heavy rain. Again, we cross it by a tunnel. From the other side, we start descending for the last time through a spectacular canyon. Finally, we reach the end of Tian Shan at the city of Dushanza and the end of Duku Highway in the northern Jungar Plains. Here in Urumqi, we don't skip visiting a very interesting place. This is the geographical center of Asia, one of the farthest points from any ocean on the earth. All the countries of Asia are present here by national sculptures. And this is the marker of the center of Asia. This place is the symbolic end of our Xinjiang journey. Hope you enjoyed Duku Highway and the journeys from the other Xinjiang videos. Subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.